It's time for our community spotlight today. Dave Vizesco with the United Way of Logan County, and I'll have you introduce your guest. How you doing, Dave? Hey, fantastic, Angie. Thanks for having us uh, in again for the podcast. We've got Megan Tidwell with us today. She's the special education teacher out at Indian Lake and a part of the Summer Autism Academy, which is a United Way funded program. It was already a United Way funded program and has been for several years. But uh, just uh, this past week, they got an additional $4,211 grant from our student United Way committee for all the work that they are about to do as summer gets ready to kick off here in a matter of the days and uh, they'll be going to work with the Summer Autism Academy. Megan, thanks for being with us today. Tell us a little bit about what the Summer Autism Academy does for uh, children on the autism spectrum here in Logan County. All right, I was just telling Angie before we went live that the Summer Autism Academy has probably been one of the best kept secrets in Logan County. Not a lot of people are aware of our academy or what we do for kids. This is our 14th summer, and it is the first year that the Midwest Regional Educational Service Center has manned the, they manned the academy, and we're really excited to be able to be a part of that. Um, so Summer Academy, it provides seven weeks of instruction, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 8 o'clock until 1 um, for students in kindergarten through eighth grade that have a diagnosis of autism. It maintains the structure of the school day. It maintains therapies in place and the kids get to go be a part of their community in meaningful ways and experience different locations such as Young's Dairy Farm and the Neil Armstrong Space Museum. They're taking a field trip to the fire department. They're going to TP lanes for bowling. They're gonna visit our local YMCA for swimming. So there's a lot of really fun opportunities for our students to access within their own community. Megan, one of the things that you think is, okay, wait a minute, summer school, that doesn't sound fun, but then you started to list off all the places the kids are going. Uh, like you've already discussed, that structure is very important for the kids that need that routine and that get disrupted in the summer. This is a great way to help uh, keep that structure in place for these families. Absolutely. And we want to thank Bell Fountain City Schools. They are hosting our Summer Academy this year and providing the transportation to and from. And one of the specific goals that we had, um, I serve as the Director of Special Education at Indian Lake. We've been longstanding partners with Discovery Writers, which is another agency within our Bell Fountain community. Um, we've been able to partner them. And through your funding, we are able to provide weekly equine therapy for our students with disabilities, which is really exciting. They're gonna be over at the Horse Arena um, every Wednesday from 8.30 until one o'clock, riding, cleaning stalls, being outside and just being a part of that program as well. And we're really excited to have that partnership with Lindsay Jackson and bring that services to our, to our families. Megan, it seems like uh, maybe there's a better awareness, a better diagnosis of autism these days. I know we have growing numbers, and I think that might be part of the reason uh, uh, for, for that. But uh, for folks who aren't aware of autism and what it is or kind of how it works, uh, you know, how does it affect an individual uh, and then their caregivers, parents, teachers alike? Um, autism, it's a spectrum, right? It comes in all shapes, sizes, colors. Um, we have some students who are incredibly articulate. Their verbal skills are well and above same age peers. They can um, engage in meaningful conversation and provide relevant information. And there are some kiddos on the spectrum that are unfortunately nonverbal. Um, but we've been able to provide some assistive technology to get their voices out there, whether it's through a device that speaks for them, whether it's providing some sign, whether it's getting some... Um, PEX information in there, which is, is a picture system that allows them to communicate. So largely we see deficits in the area of communication in addition to some behaviors related to sensory processing. Um, so certainly in the academic sense, there are large deficits and our families are impacted by that at home as well. So being able to provide the service through the Summer Academy to create that bridge between home and school and continue it through the summer is really paramount because again, we know our students with disabilities, they need that repetition. They need the constant engagement. When they don't have it, we do see that summer slide become apparent 
with our with that specific population. So that is something that we're conscientious of, and that's a that's a gap that we're trying to bridge. The other thing that's amazing is the teachers who help and take part in the Summer Autism Academy, obviously giving up a, a lot of their time, but we need a, a good uh, student to teacher ratio to make this work. Yes, absolutely. I am so pleased that we have been able to contract with intervention specialists, uh, most of which who are already working within our students with disabilities population, specifically autism. In addition, we have a speech and language pathologist on our staff this summer, which is absolutely incredible, along with an ASL interpreter. So she's going to be able to provide some feedback with our kids through sign. Um, and then we have really the rock stars and the spine of our program, which is our paraprofessionals. We've employed eight paraprofessionals this summer that are giving us their time um, and they're rolling up their sleeves and, and they get they get the run of it. So we're so grateful for the staff that we have and everyone that has agreed to partner with us this year. Can you tell how excited uh, Megan is, Angie, about Summer Autism Academy? I, I want to come out and join you guys when you go to Young Jersey <laughs> Dairy or some of these field trips. Uh, is it too late for parents to sign up? Or do you have a waiting list? Are we full and good to go? Or is there still opportunity for uh, parents to get their children involved? It is not too late to sign up. We sent out packets in February. We have, I will take up to 28 students. Um, and we have 22 spoken for. Right. So if you have a child with autism in Logan County, send them our way. Um, I can be reached again. I'm at Indian Lake local schools on a daily basis. Call, ask for Megan Tidwell. I can give you a packet and get your baby signed up. So that way we can spend some time with them this summer and continue that educational achievement that they've been working so hard the rest of the school year. And because of support from the, the entities we've already discussed, including your United Way gift, this is affordable for families. It is. So we've had donations from the Logan County United Way, which we're so forever grateful for. In addition to the Logan County Board of DD, they have been a big sponsor of our program. And Sydney Electric has also donated $1,000 towards our Discovery Writers uh, programming specifically. Um, we do ask that parents pay a $100 registration fee. Otherwise, we provide meals, transportation um, to the activities, the field trips, um, and all the services that they're going to get while they're in our care. So it's very affordable for families. Um, any families who cannot afford the registration fee, give us a call. I've sponsored a student. I know a couple other of my colleagues have sponsored students, and we welcome that. Best way to get a hold of you, like you said, to call Indian Lake Schools, ask for Megan. You can also call Midwest Regional ESC. You can call us here at United Way. Check out our website, uwlogan.org, for contact information. Uh, at, and boy, oh boy, Megan, looks like a great summer is in it's store for these fun. students. Awesome. Dave, That's you're welcome fun. to join us at any time. <laughs> Let me know when you're ready to come hang out. Sounds great. Angie, we have lots of fun there. We're going on with Summer Autism Academy. As I referenced, uh, that was one of nine awards that our Student United Way Committee uh, made this past uh, Tuesday at their uh, year-end uh, meeting. Uh, Student United Way is a year-long process that we have with four high school kids from every district in the in the county, Angie. They get a uh, uh, exposed to the, I guess, dark underbelly, all the social and human service needs that we have here in Logan County, and understand that there are ways in which so many organizations and entities are working to help. They have $25,000 to play with from the United Way campaign and wow. have to figure out and come together to how, how do we want to spend that money? And so can you imagine, you know, when you get your allowance, uh, <laughs> if you had to share it with your brother or your sister and to try to figure out how that worked. So here's 28 teenagers coming together to try to spend $25,000. It's like reality TV, right? Uh, it's a good program to see how they come together. And they did in a major way. They developed the criteria based on uh, mental health. Uh, they wanted to affect uh, substance abuse, positive choices, students learning how to adult and financial stability, also work with uh, the, disabil uh, dis uh, the folks with disabilities in the community. And as you see here with Summer Autism Academy and some of the other programs that they uh, supported, uh, they did that in a major way this year. Their largest grant did go to Discovery Riders, 
which is the Therapeutic Horse Center here in town, giving them $7,705 to supplement their uh, programming. And then after that, it was the Summer Autism Academy, who we just talked with. And then Bell Fountain High School is getting over $3,000 to do a challenge day next school year in the schools. That's going to impact 300 kids to learn how to work with their peers on mental health issues and positive behaviors and choices. I like 25. that. $2,500 going to Mackachik Learning Center, where they came in and they demonstrated these, uh, what they call EM wave monitors. It's kind of a way to monitor your heart rate, your blood pressure, uh, things that help students who uh, are trying to self-regulate for uh, how they cope with mental health and stress in the classroom. So these monitors will be used in the classroom with some of the special needs students at Mackachie. $2,200 to Logan County Family and Ch uh, uh, Children First Council for their Why Try program, which serves some of the most at-risk kids in the uh, county with a 10-week program to help teens with coping skills and positive choices. Rounded out with $2,100 to the Discovery Center, again, for kids on the autism spectrum. It's a summer preschool that they'll be operating this year, three days a week. Similar to Megan's program for the older kids, this will be for the preschoolers uh, at the uh, Discovery Center. $1,500 to the YMCA for a program that will teach kids how to coach and mentor younger kids in sports activities and team uh, team sports and a uh, thousand bucks to the greater Riverside area community encouragers for a summer meals program that they'll be doing in DeGraff and Quincy and $660 to Midwest Regional ESC for the Power Pace interview program. Last year, they had practice job interviews for high school juniors and seniors with over 30 businesses. So that was awesome. The businesses came in and they did like speed interviews with all the students. And uh, they had, all I want to say, 300 students that got involved with that this past year. They'll be doing that again next school year. So all sorts of things that the kids are going to be uh, helping to lead. And all those different programs will receive United Way funding. The checks just went in the mail yesterday. <laughs> so they are the ones that come together and decide where this 25000 yeah. goes to. And then what's, what's their next step? Or is it just for that amount of time? Yeah, that, that's it for this year. We'll come back and reconvene again next year with a new set of uh, students, and they'll go through the process themselves as well. Again, learning what uh, is needed in the community, developing their own criteria. So a couple of things that they did this past school year, Angie, they we did the poverty simulation, the cost of poverty experience with kids. Yep. So they got to experience kind of, you know, how people fall into situational or are born into generational poverty instances and how to try to climb and dig out of that. Uh, we talked with Richwood Bank and had financial literacy with, uh, with some of our friends at uh, Richwood Banking Company. They took a tour of downtown Bell Fountain and all the renovations that are taking place to see about community development. We talked with some of our corporate partners about the importance of corporate philanthropy, also personal giving back. We visited some of our partner agencies such as Discovery Riders, heard from TCN Behavioral Health about domestic violence and teen dating uh, issues and, and, and some of the other needs, uh, the food pantries and, and, and whatnot. Uh, and then, like I said, they, they came up with the criteria on how they wanted to spend the money. And then the agencies poured in. They, they, they asked, they had 17 asks from agencies and organizations, totaling more than $87,000 in funding requests. Wow. And then they had to pare those down. The agencies came in, they did the spiel, the presentation. Here's why you should, you should, we, you should give your money to us. And then the kids uh, hammered it all out on Tuesday and divvied up the $25,000. So what a problem. That. You basically are, are recruiting them to be United Way people in the future. <laughs> exactly what it is, because they're going to be the United Way volunteers of tomorrow. And uh, well, not just tomorrow, they already are today. Student United Way, we've been doing it over 20 years here with United Way of Logan County. And it's it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun working with the youth and to you know see their ideas too, their energy uh, and uh, their optimism for what we have in store for the next generation. Very cool. Tell me what's going on for the summer with you guys. 
Well, I, well, you, you heard about some of these different summer programs. Uh, we did our first community blood drive with community blood centers a couple of weeks ago. We'll have another one in June, on June 17th, and that'll be right around the corner from our office at Union Station. You'll be hearing more about that. Coming up this coming week, Tuesday, May 17th, the annual Logan County Senior Day with the Area on Aging. They always do a free luncheon for seniors. This year, it's United Way sponsored, and it's a drive-through event at the Logan County Fairgrounds. So instead of sitting down to a stuffy meal and having to sit there all for, you know, listen to speeches and talks. No, you just drive through and get your free meal. That's even better. That happens on Tuesday from 11 to 1.30. So if you are a senior citizen, you can drive through and get a free uh, free lunch. You can also uh, call and get free transportation to get there from RTC services as well. But that'll be at the Logan County Fairgrounds Tuesday, May 17th. From 11 to 1.30, you'll get all sorts of information, too, about programming that's available and out there for seniors. And, uh, oh, okay, it's the summer. That it, it, Honestly, Angie, it's one of our busier times of the year because we're getting everything prepped for a brand-new campaign. Hard to believe, but uh, it's almost time to be thinking about cranking it up again here in the fall, asking people to give to United Way again. So, you know, we only come out and ask for money really one time a year, but doing all the different things behind the scenes to get ready for it, a lot of that happens in the summer. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, that's a great update. Uh, 211, always the number to call if anybody has any questions. Always on. There's always somebody on the other end of the 211 call. Uh, Operators standing by to take any calls about human service needs in Logan County. They'll point you in the right direction. Even when, like, I'm on a podcast like this with you, Angie, and can't pick up the phone and answer, someone from 211 will be there to take your call. And everything is on your website. Give that again uwlogan.org, uwlogan.org. Fantastic. Thank you guys for joining me today and for giving us the update about what's going on with Logan County and especially this great summer program. So thanks to everybody. You bet, Angie. Thanks for having us. Thank you. All right. We'll see you.